Hello guys, well I'm finally back in the garage. I've got home to Oregon um, after just an amazing trip to the Barber Museum. And uh, please check out my videos, it was just a fantastic experience. And I'm definitely hoping to go back there again. Maybe not next year, but perhaps a year after. So um, I was inspired to get back to my project bikes and uh, I'm going to start off with the Vincent Rapide. I'm going to take this cover off and then start disassembling the top end. I'd previously mentioned that I'd taken off these rocker caps and noticed that the push rods were actually missing. So uh, I've got the push rods from the previous owner and I'm also going to take off this timing side case as well. Just to take a look, see what's in there before I start lifting um, the upper frame member, that's this oil tank here, off the engine. Push rods missing. I'm going to first start by removing this oil delivery quill here and then the cylinder oil jet holder up here just to get those out of the way. This is a 5 16 Whitworth's fitting. I also don't know how tightly these have been assembled prior to me getting the bike so it's good to just go back through over all this. And this is a quarter inch Whitworth. And then next I'm just going to remove the screws that hold on this cover for the auto advance unit. We have a selection of screws here. Where's the auto advance unit? Oh my gosh. I really hope there's an engine in here. Okay, I'm not panicking too much <laughs> right now, but um, I'm going to start now taking this timing cover off and I will contact the previous owner about the uh, auto advance unit. Um, I'm sure he's got it in a box or on a shelf somewhere. Um, Hoping so. Uh, here goes. Anyway, we'll see what looks what it looks like under this timing cover. These are loose.
Oh boy. Well, that was a little bit concerning opening that timing case to see um, an engine that's perhaps not quite as nice as I thought it would be, given everything on the outside. I thought it would be like a piece of jewellery or a Swiss watch inside here. It's a little rougher than I expected and clearly there's quite a few parts missing. Um, but after a little bit of uh, further scrutiny, uh, it looks like mostly just nuts and washers. But um, it does leave me to believe that I'm going to need to take uh, this timing side apart just to make sure that everything is as it should be. And um, just started making a list of some of the items that I see are immediately apparently missing. And then we won't know until we start removing some of these timing gears. Um, I'd like to take a look at the cams and the cam lobes. I'm not sure about that one back there, how that looks. So, yeah, that will be the next job to start taking some of this apart. <laughs> 